Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club coming to you in a not normal format because I have some news about Vegas, especially, specifically, Vegas Movie Studio, and it's dead. Vegas Movie Studio is dead. It is gone. It has been killed. I can explain. I can explain everything. I've been doing some research. Thank you, Anthony, for getting me caught up on this stuff. Uh, so, here's what happened. Okay? If you currently own Movie Studio 17 Platinum or earlier, you still own Movie Studio 17 Platinum or earlier. And it will work as long as it keeps working. Uh, as long as it still installs on Windows and works with drivers, it'll probably work. My guess, I can't guarantee anything, it'll, my guess is it'll be to work for years. I used to use Movie Studio specifically, and when I had Movie Studio, I would buy it, and years later, I would upgrade. Uh, so it should, you should have no immediate changes you have to do. So don't think if you have Movie Studio, you immediately have to do something that is up to you, how you want to handle this. Now you're wondering, I saw Movie Studio 18 appear. I'm going to explain what Movie Studio 18 is and how it works. I want to be specific. I am a Vegas affiliate. I do affiliate links, and I have affiliate links that link to Movie Studio. I'm working on helping everybody fix this situation. I kind of got surprised by it myself, uh, and there's a lot of surprises going on. So Vegas uh, has been talking about this recently. The, this is not a decision. How do I say this? Vegas Creative Software is the company that makes Movie Studio and Vegas Pro. All right, these are two separate softwares, and uh, they're but they're the same kind of thing. So in one box, they package up Vegas as a consumer version, and that's called Movie Studio. And they put it in one box. And then in another box, they package up Vegas into a pro version, and they put it in that box. And that's what they do. They have two separate boxes. One's a Vegas Pro box, and there's different packages and stuff around this box. And there's another a Vegas, a Vegas uh, Movie Studio box, which is the has been the consumer version of Vegas Pro. Vegas as a company, as far as what I've read, so even though I do have some official communication channels, I'm getting this from the same public information that you are. Uh, this is not insider information. This is just things that have been posted on the forums uh, that I'm trying to help everybody get clarity on what's going on. Um, so Vegas is ending support for Movie Studio, but not for Vegas Pro. Vegas Pro is still alive, it is still well, it is still going. Movie Studio, they're no longer creating new versions for because the team felt stretched to create two different versions of the same software because they feel like they can create a better product if they can just focus on making one and that obvious choice, if they have to pick one, the obvious choice is Vegas Pro. I'm deeply saddened by this news personally because Movie Studio was my entry into the Vegas Creative Software line. Um, but I have opinions about that. I have a, 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 what to do if you still want to stay with Vegas Pro. But there's something you have to understand first before we continue talking about that. There's something you have to understand. In the Movie Studio box, Magix is a parent company, okay? So you have Vegas. That is the company that makes Vegas Creative Software. People call it Sony Vegas because it used to belong to Sony. Sony sold it. Same company, same people, same software, got sold and bought by Magix. This is, it's happened before, before Sony. Um, I don't know all the details about all that. Like I said, I'm not like an expert on the business dealings of Vegas, right? I'm just trying to tell you how the product line works the best I understand it. So Vegas uh, has made that decision to stop supporting Movie Studio. Uh, so now there's an IP owned by Magix uh, they have an IP, an intellectual property of Movie Studio that that they can, that they're trying to fill a niche. So the parent company, Magix, also owns other video editing software. They were already dealing video editing software when they bought Vegas. So these are even though Magix owns Vegas, um, they're the parent company of Vegas. Magix is not. Um, Vegas, they're too, they're, Magic Software isn't necessarily Vegas Software. Uh, they have other 
editing softwares. Now they have a consumer version of their software and they thought maybe what we could do, personally, I think this was a not a decision I would have made. I would have not made this decision. Um, I will just leave it at that. They, Magics, not Vegas, has said, we have a consumer version software that we think can fill the spot for your consumer version software that we're already working on uh, and updating. And so we're going to package that, take this movie studio box, you've taken Vegas out of it, now we're going to take a different software and put it in the same box. So now we still have something to sell as Movie Studio. I kind of see where they're coming from in some regards. However, like I said, this is going to be surprising to people because here's why. They package this up, and now if you buy Movie Studio 18, and the, the, it, this has been on the Vegas forums, they've tried to make this as clear as possible. However, um, it's it's I completely understand why this is not going to be clear for a lot of people. So they take this box that was Movie Studio, and then inside of this box, you're going to pull it out, and you're going to have a brand new Movie Studio. It's made out of a different software, which means I can't promise where the buttons are or what's going to do or how the drivers work or anything like that. I've not really worked with that software. I've worked with a version of it five years ago for a week. Uh, I, I, I don't know a lot about that version of the software. Maybe it's something you're interested in, chances are you're going to want to stay with a software you're familiar with. So, if you're a Movie Studio user, which a lot of my subscribers on this channel are Movie Studio users, uh, you have a special place in my heart because I had been a Movie Studio user for a long time. Uh, Vegas Pro still exists. If you don't know this, Vegas Pro, all the buttons are in the same spot. It's like the same software. So you still know how to use an editing software perfectly because all your experience in movie studios will directly transfer to Vegas Pro. You will, like all your knowledge will directly transfer. You're just going to have more features if you decide to stay uh, with the Vegas Creative Software side of things. If you own Movie Studio, I know right now, um, I will link it below the forum post I saw about it. They're offering a coupon for an upgrade to Vegas Pro for Movie Series. Now that coupon's always there, but it's a generous version of the coupon right now. Um, if you're upgrading from Movie Studio 17 or earlier, I don't know. I don't know all the details if it's going like every single version ever or or what. But I just know that at least if you have Movie Studio 17 and you want to upgrade to Pro, there's a generous coupon out there. Um, also. I want to also note that um, Vegas still has a very generous software selling uh, ability. So last I looked, you could buy Photoshop, not a Vegas software, Photoshop, you know, Adobe software, for like $25 a month. Um, and then I saw Vegas software. Now, the, the prices may have changed since I last looked at this, but you could get Vegas Post Suite which means Vegas Image, an image editing software, Vegas Effects, an effects, like an After Effects kind of software. It's not After Effects, but it is a software akin to it. Um, it is a, a, a motion graphics software, uh, mo a, a special effects. Um, Vegas Pro and uh, SoundForge, which is a special like ed uh, sound exporting software. Vegas Pro has a lot of sound editing stuff inside of it. Sound Forge does some extra special stuff on top of that for sound editing too. So then you have a whole video production suite for roughly the same price as just Photoshop from their competitor, Photoshop. So as you can see, there is still, if you get Vegas 365, a subscription model, that's still a really competitive deal because you get like crap tons more software and awesome stuff for a really competitive price. Um, so that is an option too, if you're not want to go buy outright for Vegas. Um, and when you buy Vegas Pro, I also want to note the same as Movie Studio. When you would buy it, it lasts for years. Like just because they come out with a new version doesn't mean your old version is obsolete. A lot of people are still using older versions regularly, and they're commenting underneath it, talking about some of the things that are still the same or different on a lot of my videos. Um, so, so just because a new version is out doesn't necessarily mean that you have to get a new version. I really want to explain this to you because I currently have 
like two, you know, I, have, I have years of videos for Movie Studio and Vegas Pro and software comparisons and everything, which have my link for Movie Studio. <laughs> uh, and, and right now, that affiliate link goes to Movie Studio 18, which is not the same software that I was demonstrating. So if if I wouldn't have a problem with you using that link if you were getting the software if getting the version that you were expecting, uh, but if you see me using Movie Studio in an older version and then you click the link underneath that, what you saw me using no longer goes to the page. No longer is the same software exactly being sold. It's just under the same name. So. I am working to fix that. I've tried to put update notices and things on some of my primary videos. Right now, um, probably about 200 people a day are watching a video where I'm actively telling them about Movie Studio. And it's wrong. The information is wrong. Now, that's just the nature of the internet. Things change. Things change a lot. And videos are old. Anytime you're watching a video that's old, you need to think about whether or not that information is still relevant. And I try to in the videos talk about, like, hey, the final... Um, the source is, you know, you need to like check everything out because the video may have aged since me explaining it. Um, but I'm going to try to come out with some updated videos explaining uh, how beginners should best get started or how prosumers uh, might best purchase the software. Um, I'm going to try to help this community navigate the change. Uh, I'm still going to try to explain differences with Movie Studio, uh, maybe less directly over time, um, but uh, with Movie Studio, as you have questions and things, because a lot of you will still be using Movie Studio, when you see my Vegas Pro tutorials coming out, uh, most of them will still be applicable, applicable to Movie Studio. So unless it's something, a really new, new feature, or unless it is a, uh, a feature that's like a pro-specific feature, uh, it'll still teach you how to do it in Movie Studio for the most part, and, and there's some major differences which I'm aware of, and I'm because I use both softwares uh, that I will still try to kind of highlight if I'm teaching something about Movie Vegas Pro. It, yeah, so that's it. Um, today has been a very weird day. I'm gonna go put down a dog. Um, not uh, that's not a joke. So uh, thanks, guys. That's this is not. Uh, going to be is going to be a lot of work but we're going to get through this transition thank you guys for being uh such loyal and helpful subscribers and um thank you for all the support through um links and purchases and things like that i really hope um that this finds you in time as you're making decisions about this i am letting you know like as soon as i as soon as i had something coherent to say about it i'm talking to the camera right now so thanks for watching like if this video helped you out, subscribe if you're looking for more things about Vegas Creative Software, because that's what this channel's about, and editing tips in general. I'll see you next time.